At the end of the last video, we said that according to the management of Google, the reason for the great innovation at Google is because of three buckets and the content of those buckets. And the first bucket, which was the most important bucket at Google, is filled with purpose, talent, and doing the impossible. Innovation bucket number two at Google was filled with openness, sharing, and a data-driven mindset. And finally, innovation bucket number three at Google was filled with simple, fast, and always being user-focused. Those are the three buckets and secrets to success at Google. Now let's talk a little bit about each of these buckets in Google. One of the most important buckets and one of the most important contents in that bucket for Google is purpose. The purpose of Google. And purpose at Google is the driving force and the northern light for everything they do. And purpose at Google means that the work Google does can and does have an impact on millions of people in a positive way and does that almost every day. Now that may sound a bit vague to you and I, but Googlers believe it, and they are guided by it every single day. And that purpose can have and does have an impact on millions of people, and they know that. And it's realized by Google how important that is. And in order to achieve that, they're investing and developing and retaining strong managers who believe in that. And those managers have a clear team vision and strategy and why they're doing it. They're great coaches. They have a genuine interest and concern for their teams. They're always focused on productivity and results. They're good communicators and listeners. And finally, they have the essential technical skills. And in addition to purpose and great management at Google, bucket number one also contains a culture of thinking what is possible is ten times more possible than what you could ever imagine. Or as Google referred to it, the 10x rule. And the 10x rule means that great just isn't good enough at Google. And remember that please because Great just isn't good enough is a very good philosophy to follow in your business also. The second innovation bucket at Google is filled with the principle of ideas can come from anywhere. And this is a very important philosophy for all Googlers. Ideas can come from anywhere sounds simple, but at Google those ideas must be measured and validated. And that is something many companies forget to address, measurement and validation of ideas. And the most important philosophy behind this ideas can come from anywhere idea is that Google believe if you give people freedom, they will amaze you. And to il illustrate this important Google way of thinking, they have what's called the 20% principle. And the 20% principle yields some of their best ideas. And the 20% principle is implemented through 20% projects. And what we mean by that is that one day a week, employees can spend on personal but relevant side projects. And what this means is that 20% of an employee's time at Google can be directed towards personal but relevant side, pro side projects which they can select. And that's very interesting indeed. And finally, the third innovation bucket at Google is filled with processes. Now, Google are practicing bucket three capabilities all the time and improving their processes by continuously reinventing them. And they're also reinventing their products and concepts, etc. Because at Google, it's always necessary to be doing new things and spearheading new ideas that can benefit the company and people. And at Google, this is often called the toothbrush test. 
and everything at Google must pass the toothbrush test, which means it's relevant and useful to people multiple times a day. And if you're interested to learn more about the toothbrush test, just Google Larry Page Ruth toothbrush test and you'll learn more about that. Interesting process for qualifying ideas. But let's get back to bucket number three now. And fast is in there because fast is much better than slow at Google. And fast at Google means launch, iterate, learn, relaunch, iterate, etc. You might call that process learning or rapid learning. But here's an important point to remember. Google know that speed can sometimes be dangerous and that speed can often result in failure. But at Google, there's no shame in failure or stigma attached to failure. As a matter of fact, the mantra at Google is, if you do not fail often, you're not trying hard enough. And this, folks, is a very important point to remember for all of us about innovation. And to remember this point, you might like to hear the famous quote by Thomas Edison, the inventor of the light bulb. And Ed Edison is known to have said, I have not failed, I have just found 10,000 ways that won't work. In the case of Google, another important point to remember is that Google are not focused on the competition. They're in fact focused solely on the users. And what that means is that the primary goal at Google is to always help the users amplify their moments that matter and it, to achieve that Google are always trying to show users the magic. And by showing people the magic Google are in fact winning the users love and trust and they're also remaining very innovative in the process of doing just that. And we could conclude the session about Google and great innovators by reminding ourselves of the three buckets at Google. We could think about those buckets frequently. Innovation bucket one at Google is filled with purpose, which was most important, talent and doing the impossible. Innovation bucket two at Google is filled with openness, sharing and a data-driven mindset. And innovation bucket three at Google is filled with simple, fast, and always being user-focused. And finally, at Google, you have not failed. You just found 10,000 ways that won't work. And more importantly, you learn quickly from those ways that don't work in order to discover the ways that do work. Wow, that was again a lot of information to absorb in this innovation session, but very important to all companies. So what are the three simple lessons you should leave this session with? The first lesson that you should leave the session with is that there are three forms of innovation which were given to us by Professor Clayton Christensen at the Harvard Business School. And those forms were disruptive, which makes products more affordable and accessible, sustaining, which makes existing products even better, and efficiency, which tends to eliminate jobs, but increases cash flow, and especially free cash flow, which goes back into disruptive innovations. The second lesson is that there are three reasons why the world's most innovative companies are great at innovation, and those are speed, which means that the best innovators are fast at almost everything. Lean thinking, which means that the best innovators are very strong at continuous incremental innovation, build, test, learn, build, test, learn, etc. And finally, technology platforms, which means that the best innovators adopt and deploy quickly enabling technologies, and that helps them to be innovative also. The third and final lesson we can get from this session is purpose. Purpose is essential to being innovative and successful in any company. But creating purpose also requires that you invest in building and retaining strong managers. 
and those managers must have an interest and concern for their team and they must fully support the company's purpose. And try to remember that Google that purpose was the work that you do can have and does have an impact on millions of people in a positive way.